Redfield or Fauci? Uh, I'll go with Redfield for uh, 400 here, Todd, right? It, it, I mean, th this is the Dr. Fauci who wants to clear that I am the science, unquote, right? And it's amazing even now when the FBI, the Energy Department, say that COVID uh, that originated in Wuhan, China, most likely came from a lab that studies, you know, bat viruses in Wuhan, China. It, it's like we've talked about here, it's the greatest analogy ever, John Stewart. If there was a chocolate outbreak in Hershey, Pennsylvania, the first place we would look if that happened would be, you know, the chocolate factory, right? But Fauci will never admit that he was wrong. Uh, perhaps be, 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 he was be behind, uh, because he was behind anyway, uh, gain of Fauci research, I'm sorry, gain of function sure, research sure. was spoke there, and COVID that led to 7 million people dying worldwide, more than 1 million Americans dying here. So it, he could continue to stay in this safe space as far as it came from a wet market, but more and more people are saying, logically, that just doesn't make any sense sense. So to be clear, it's not Redfield that's lying, it's Fauci, Ash. Right, yeah. Uh, now yeah. Let's, talk, let's talk about Vice President Kamala Harris for just a second. She has a new priority. Watch this. One of the young leaders was talking to me about climate mental health. I said, tell me what's going on with your peers. Climate mental health. And one example is, you know, whether when they're ready, could they start a family? Worried about what that would mean. And the stress of it. Okay, Joe, what in the world is climate mental health? Something I will never teach my kids, Ashley. I mean, this is how this administration operates, through fear, through misinformation, even if it involves scaring children. The vice president should be talking about how test scores just fell to their lowest level in 30 years. And she should be stressing the need for our teacher unions, our, our educators to get back on track and teaching our kids the basic blocking and tackling that will make them competitive with other countries around the world. We're, we're behind, well behind the likes of China and even countries like Ireland and Estonia in math writing and reading. This is why, by the way, uh, Kamala Harris is not being considered as a plan B to Joe Biden if he doesn't run, but he is running, so what are we talking about anyway? Anyway, guys, have a great, great weekend. It's Friday. I gotta go. It's Yoga Friday. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilney. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.